Have you ever wondered how good those dedicated handheld 3D scanners are? Well, I certainly have. Luckily, RevoPoint sent me one of their pop scan units. We're going to scan this master model and compare it in workflow and results to Agitsoft's Metashape photogrammetry app. My name is Eric Stribble. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. Alfred Backpack Hanger in stainless steel and aluminum, designed by me, holds your backpack, lets you charge your phone, holds your keys. Super versatile. So I'm packing up some here that were recently sold. Thanks for those of you who've purchased recently. It really helps support the channel. I've always been super curious about having a handheld 3D scanner and how that compares and the quality that we're going to get. So Revo sent us the Pop Scan Starter Kit. This is a 669 value, includes the Pop Scanner and the turntable, a little statuette to scan. Here's our turntable. You can plug it in. So we'll put this thing together and we'll set up a scan and we'll see what kind of results we get you get some usb-c cables which are nice and a little tripod and then this is the scanning unit right here now we're using this model because i have the master data and this is the part that was cnc cut and benched out as a final part. So this is a good reference that we can compare to when we get the scanned data. All right, you power the unit via USB-C, you just plug it in. You can plug it into your computer, but it doesn't connect directly. You have to create a hotspot on some sort of a mobile device. This is blowing my mind. You call it pop and this is the password you put in and then the scanner connects to this you then have to take your computer and connect it to this wi-fi hotspot not an easy thing to do for a non-technically minded person not a big deal for me but just weird weird my goal is to 360 scan this thing so the top and the bottom the turntable is actually kind of nice rotates so you start out you give the project a name and it pretty much just starts to scan, which is really kind of nice. You can then pause the scan in the middle of the scan and move the camera, which is also kind of a nice thing. So you can see this in real time as it scans. We try to flip it over and see if it can do the bottom. And of course this thing has an edge and so there's no way to do it on the side now we paint it white because the model they sent us was white so we just assumed that that's the best thing to do and we're not able to get a 360 scan until i hold the scanner in my hand actually and that works actually really good and we get some sort of a 360 scanner and this is our initial scan and then we're looking to export it as an obj and that's the data, or that's what the data looks like. Now, let's do the same object in Agitsoft's Metashape. And you guys may recognize my scanner that I built. I have a video about this. Link in the right up here on the top. And Metashape gives us this bit of data here, which is very nice. So we'll pull this into fusion and see what it looks like now metashape has a tough time with a flat surface so we throw a texture on it and import that into metashape and that is the way metashape works the best it actually uses those points for its photogrammetry scan and this gives us our final metashape scan and it gives us some really nice high fidelity um, data and we can compare that to the pop scan as well now I thought it would be interesting to take the same model that we used for Metashape with all the speckles on it and scan this as well with the pop scanner and see what kind of results that we get and turns out actually 
the scan comes out. So it doesn't need to be full on white. So let's import the data into Fusion. And the nice thing that I noticed right away about the pop scan is that it comes into scale. So pop scan scans to scale where the meta shape data does not. I had to scale it up. Um, so that's a, a definite sort of plus bonus. Why none of these applications can get your object uh, in space flat and on the surface, I, I have no idea. It's, that's a little weird. You'd think there would be a way to do that. And maybe there is, and I just don't know how to do that. So let's compare the white scan the, of the pop model to the original master data. And you can see the data is very kind of uniform. And then that allows the edges to not be super crisp. But it does leave you very sort of uniform data. But I feel like it's smoothing out some things, especially in the wheel arches and the top there, that it's not quite as defined. Now, when we compare that here to the textured meta shape photogrammetry thing, we'll see we get much better definition uh, in some of the little detail low spots and we'll get much better edge definition too on the bottom uh, with that scan data. So I would say the Metashape data is a lot sort of higher resolution than the pop scan data where it somehow tries to keep everything uniform. Now this is the last bit of pop scan uh, data which is the textured model. It's very similar to the first one. It has the same issues, it has that nice uniformity. So for me, the pop scan is not quite high enough resolution to capture the kind of intricate detail that I'm interested in. Just as a reminder, if you haven't seen the Team C's hashtag from the other YouTubers, we're trying to raise $30 million to remove 30 million pounds of plastic from the world's oceans. Head on over to teamseas.org to make your donation. Link in the description below. My parting thoughts on the process. You don't get a real good sense of this in the video, but the pop scan scans relatively quickly in real time, and you can see that. The Agitsoft Metashape software photogrammetry scan will take you several hours. Right, you've got to go and take all those pictures all the way around at several different layers. You've got to then import those images. They've got to be processed by the software. Uh, and then you have to output the mesh. And all of that is very time consuming. You do get a little bit higher resolution scan in the photogrammetry than you do in the pop scan. But for many people, I think the pop scan is going to be good. Uh, you get certainly good enough data I, th I would think for games it can scan in color as well which i didn't do and i don't really care about um, but if you're just looking for representational data uh, and it scans to scale then the pop scanner could be a winner if you're looking for a little higher resolution then i personally like the agisoft metashape photogrammetry for the increased fidelity Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Make sure to hit the bell so you get notifications every time I have a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below and on the channel page. Rock on. Don't forget to check out the t-shirts and hoodies in the merch shelf below. Click here to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.